Hi right, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the Red NFC Away This channel. I'm James. I'm Adam. And uh, yes, yeah, today, you guys, we're going to be bringing you a match review of our game over in Holland. Um, I'm going to probably butcher the name again. We played Al Tawood, and you end up picking up a 3 1 victory. Yeah, so that's. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Another win. Two wins in a row now for Renan. Yep, Stan. Two wins, two games. Obviously, it's only pre season. You can't really be like, right, we're going to win the league. Yeah. Newcastle. <laughs> No, you're not winning it. We are. Um, no, but again, no. It's good to get two wins in yeah, a row. Yeah, another win. Um, that's eight goals now in pre-season in just two games. Uh, only conceded one as well. We've played really well as well. Yeah, we've and we're well. adding more players. Yeah. We just signed Swift. Uh, we didn't actually make a video on that. Um, Swift. Uh, we also are looking to sign Adam Reach as well from yeah. Middlesbrough, who's highly... We asked a few people yeah. on Twitter, didn't we? Middlesbrough fans and Preston fans. Um, and they really highly rate him over there. But then again, everyone high rate. You know, whatever player comes to Reading is high <laughs> rate. You know, you know, get respectable. Apparently, he's a good player. And uh, we also then signed. To Reading. <laughs> we also signed Beerins as well, um, which was a really good signing. Mm. Obviously, coming in from the German league. But yeah, we're here today to talk to you guys about our uh, performance against Al Tawood, kind of how we got on. So uh, yeah, should we crack into it? Yeah, let's go straight into it. So uh, to begin with, we actually uh, ended up scoring the first goal of the game. Uh, it was in the 39th minute, I believe. Yep, 39th yeah. minute. <laughs> so we're going to just check in here. Um, yeah, we scored in the 39th minute. Um, it was actually, uh, there was a video of it um, on Brendan's Twitter page. Um, there was a goal kick. Uh, McCleary and Joseph Mendes, our new player. Yeah. Um, Mendes uh, closed down the player, ended up tackling him, and the player ended up putting the ball in his own net. Um, it was a good, good pressure yeah, from Mendes. Pressure. Um, he played well uh, from here and what I've read on Twitter and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to see Joseph Mendes in the starting lineup. Yeah, it was our first taste team. of him. Yeah, it was, I was gonna say it's our first taste of him. Um, thoughts? Obviously, you know, I haven't said anything about it, but obviously saw that video, which you know, good stuff. Closing down well. Uh, didn't get a goal. Um, did get an assist though. Got an assist, yeah. Which was for the second goal. Uh, Danny Williams actually ended up scoring that one. Mendes went through on goal. Uh, ended up crossing it in. Um, he was just inside, just outside the six-yard box. Crossed it in. Williams headed it two 0 so that's good then, but you know, hopefully he can take some goals. You know, um, we didn't sign him just for an assist. We signed him for a goal scorer. He's a striker, isn't he? Yeah, but hopefully, you know, he can um, deliver a uh, first game of the season. Well, I mean, well, it's not too bad. I mean, he got basically two assists for today. Um, he played really well, I think. Um, obviously, I didn't watch it. I was at work, personally. Um, I didn't listen to it on the radio either. Obviously, I've read it all through Twitter and stuff like that. But yeah, Danny Williams picking up a goal. Good to see him get some confidence yeah. back. And it looks like he's going to be staying now. Are you happy to see Danny Williams stay? Yeah, I'm happy. I've always said Danny Williams. I'm happy as you to stay. Uh, yeah, I think he's a good player. Obviously, you know, he can strike a ball. He's not afraid to, not afraid to shoot. Uh, go, get, he pops up with a goal every now and then, which is good. Um, shows, you know, he has good passion for the team. Um, you happy about Danny Williams? Yeah, I'm happy Danny Williams. I have a pick up a goal. Happy he's staying as well. Um, a person, though, who could be staying at the club as well is a player we had on trial. Uh, that's Campy. He's a, I think he's an Argentine defender. Uh, was on trial today. He actually nearly scored as well in the 50th Sorry. minute. Vandenberg put a free kick in, uh, deep from the halfway line about there. And uh, yeah, Campy's uh, shot was just uh, deflected wide. Um, would you like to get another centre back in? Obviously, Campy was replaced by Jake Cooper later on in the game. Cooper obviously made the mistake for the goal. No surprise. Back to where he was in the summer. Oh. Would you like to see Campy come in? Yeah, I would. Um, you know, that didn't know anything about him really, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, you see, he nearly scored. Uh, how long? How long did he play? I uh, played around about eighty minutes, uh, seventy-five minutes. He actually played. Uh, but yeah, um, not very good about Cooper, is it? You know, he's mucking up again. He was on fifteen minutes, he ended up making a mistake. Oh god! But you know, <laughs> couldn't even handle your Cooper last <laughs> week. But um, you know, it's not. You know, hopefully Cooper, you know, bucks ideas up before the start of the season. But not pre pre season does not look good so far from him. But you know, as long as we're winning, as long as we're winning. Uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's only one goal conceded. Um, obviously, we've only played Boreham Wood and a Saudi Arabian side, so we can't really be like, yeah, we're going to win the league next year. But it's good positive signs, isn't yeah, it, for Reading? Positive. And, well, more positive signs were shown when Jan Kermigan scored his second free kick in a Reading yeah. shirt. 25 yarder. Everyone's saying it's a wonder goal. Haven't seen footage from it yet. Um, but yeah, it's meant to be a wonder goal. Yeah, I heard it's, gonna, I heard it's a good free kick. Um do you reckon it's going to be better than Liam Kelly? I don't know. Everyone's saying this is a wonder goal. Liam Kelly's been tagged mm -hmm. as a wonder goal. Uh, Kermigan, though, again producing the goods. I said he played well last week. He's, I don't think he like played he very well again. last week, but you know, that's, that was from last week. But anyway, um, we won. Yeah, we, we won. We won 3-1. He got a goal. We can say that's the main thing, at least. We played really well, I yeah. think, honestly. Uh, all round the side was well. 
Uh, Liam Kelly came on, Craig Tanner as well, um, who obviously didn't impress us, did he? No. Uh, the weekend. He actually came on and he actually made quite a few, he made a little bit of a difference. He had a little bit of burst of pace and uh, kind of changed the game almost, essentially. Um, but yeah, Reading played really well. He actually nearly added a fourth as well. Uh, Kermigan was actually offside. Dominic Samuel scored. Um, obviously, Kermigan slotting the ball through to him, but uh, unfortunately, Kermigan was offside. So, yeah, apart from that, there's nothing really else to discuss about no, the game. No, not really. Uh, just um, positive all around, I'd say. You know, some errors in the team, but that's for another video. But anyway... Um, that's basically it. Uh, basically Jakulu it. also came on goalkeeper. Obviously, we signed come on for Ali. And, um, yeah, apart from that, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Um, we're going to be back for Swindon with our preview, and we'll also be there for our away days. Yeah. Um, yeah, really looking forward to that, obviously. Uh, we'll be having a camera for this yeah. one, won't we? It'll be a Tuesday night camera. Uh, camera officially is going to be... There's a lot of people coming. Yeah, quite a few people We've sold around about 1,000 tickets as well, and we've got 400 more. So, um, yeah, rating on this performance out of 10. I'm going to go with an 8. I'm going to say it's a little bit, actually, yeah, a little bit worse than Boreham Wood, obviously, we gave that concede, yeah. and I think I gave Boreham Wood a 9. Um, the only an 8 for this one. I'm going to have a 7.5, uh, just because we just because we conceded that goal. Um... Obviously not as well as Bournemouth would, but again, we weren't there at the game, so we were just judging it from, you know, Twitter and everything, and the match stats and everything. But yeah, I'm going to go with 7.8. So uh, yeah, that's going to be for today's video, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. I've been James. And I've been Adam. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for our Swindon preview. Peace.